Hello and welcome to another episode of Don't Come Tell on. My Wife podcast. Another week. Yeah, yeah. Here with one of your hosts, Junior. And it's Ken. And we got two special guests. Two special guests. The Mandem. The Mandem. Million gays. The Mandem. Million gays, man. Introduce yourself, others. Uh, cool. I'll go first. Yeah. So, uh, do you want, it's my name? Yeah. Your name, yeah, your name. age. Get out of here, shall I? Well, whatever, say ASL. No, but um, yeah, no, my name's Akin, newly engaged. Ish. Um, oh, but, yeah, um, that's about it, really. What yeah. else you guys want to know? Yeah, that's all, man. Oh, yeah, I'm Tim. Tim, I guess they'll find out more about me. Right? Come on. Newly engaged as well. Yeah, newly engaged. Come on, man. Hey, man. Shout out, my guys. Thank you guys man. for Thank being here. I appreciate, no, it. appreciate Thank you. Thank you for having us on. Yeah, our yeah. first, this is our first episode we've had two guests. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Hey, man. Episode 20 as well. Come, episode 20 as well. Is my that, little master. going to be different, you think? What, more than one guest? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, man, you picked the right know. guest anyway, innit? So oh, yeah, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, man. No, but yeah, two guests, episode 20. So, yeah, thank you guys for all your love. Yeah, man. And support. Honestly. We've been appreciating it. But yeah. before we start, though, what did your wife do this week? Ah, what did my wife do this week? Um, it's been it's been a good week. Um, nothing bad, but you know how you know how sometimes I complain where she leaves the my like my car and lot. She done it again. No, no, no. Yeah, she didn't sister. do that. <laughs> she didn't do that one this time. Or you know sometimes she mm-hmm. forgets to lock the door. Mm-hmm. So this I think I forgot what day it was. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it was in the morning, innit? And she was going to the nursery. Um with Mally to help her mum out. So, obviously, she's up at, like, maybe, like, 7, 8, getting ready, mm-hmm. and I'm still sleeping. Mm-hmm. And, obviously, we've got an alarm on our front, like, our front door and all the windows and stuff. God. And Maxim, I don't know what he's had in these houses. No, but it's... Maximum security. <laughs> Let him know. We got that alarm. Oh, no, trust me. We, oh. we got that stuff. We protect him. <laughs> so Max. funny. I remember when you came to the crib, was like, tell me, I need to get a baseball bat. Where can I get no. a baseball bat? <laughs> <laughs> Who's on to you? Where you at? <laughs> we in London, man. This might be the ghetto. But I'm yeah. joking. Um, so, so, yeah, basically, if you open the front door without disab- disabling the alarm, um, it'll just do some beeping noise. But if you open like the back door, it will just full blown alarm in it. Mm. So I'm sleeping now, and obviously pause. But I don't wear clothes without sleeping. It <laughs> that, that's that. Just pause. Damn, so you sleep with you your your bars? <laughs> Why do you pause? You sleep no. with your wife, bro. <laughs> like, but but so I'm oh, I'm no, sleeping. Wait, but I said pause. But I said <laughs> I said, I said fully naked. I said fully naked. Why for that, bro? Don't worry. Hey, Why you gonna ask me we, more questions you know about that, head, it? Yeah. 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 Uh, He's a straight I was like, what? Even in the winter? Bro, even in the winter, bro. That's Sad. how I am, bro. That's a bit crazy. Bro, what is it? No, and I need to break it. Bro, like, 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 bro. So basically, um, so I'm sleeping now, innit? Next minute now, I just heard the full blown alarm going woo woo. Mm-hmm. If you see the way I jumped out of bed, I started spinning to go down. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even put... I, I, bro, you, you, you robe, robe though. I sh- no, bro, the robe. robe was on the banister outside of so the room. So you grabbed the robe, or you ran down. Did you grab what you were bust? Basically, so bro, I, if you're an intruder, that is the least intimidating bro. thing I could possibly see. Bro. Imagine that Rob Robinson was killed, but I see a fully naked man. Six Imagine naked, you're running out, you're like, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Man. Pause, pause. So, so yeah, basically, pause, I, I started running here, so I ran out the room, got to the stairs, and I stopped, and I was like, wait, where's my shoes? <laughs> so then I started shouting down the thing, uh, like, abs, abs, where are you, where are you? And then she was like, oh, I'm sorry. I just opened the back door by accident. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so, other so than wait, that. So does, does she know how to like disable the alarm? No, she knows. Okay. She knows, she but it's it. just, yeah, she, she just forgot that it was on. So that's why she mm-hmm. done that and it, so it was fine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I think that's just kind of made me learn this week that Always keep a robe or shorts on deck somewhere. Bro, because you don't know. Boxes, at least, least boxes, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> at like, least, yeah, bro. Just, hey, man. Don't worry about me. Nah, but anyway, yeah, I hope you need to wake up in the middle of the night to defend your family. No, and, but the thing is, at least we know that it's a fight or, you know, you know, you have fight or flight. Me, mm-hmm. it's a straight fight because of me, mm-hmm. I, I sprinted to go and fight the mm-hmm. person. Right. So don't worry, they're protected, bro. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, I know it's least intimidating, but if they see me, then, cha, as long as I'm there. That's why I said I, I need a baseball bat, innit? <laughs> What about you though? What do you, what do you, you know what? My wife's been all right this week. There's a little few things that she's been doing to me, man. Like, I don't know about women, you know. Maybe it's me that's being the way I am, isn't it? But when I, when I tell her, I'm like, babe, can you do something, yeah? It's like, I want you to do it now. I don't know if you guys are like that. Or maybe you guys live with your, your women. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, babe, yeah. can you do this? Can you do this? She's like, okay, I'll do it. 
then I've gone on to do something, I come back and she hasn't done it yet. I'm like, bro, like, I've told you to do something, do it, like, kind of thing. Mm. But maybe I'm moving, I don't know if I'm mad. Tell me if I'm mad, guys. It, well, did you depend on when to do it. And I'm like, can you do something now? Like, if you said now, then yeah. Yeah. And she's like, I'll do it, like, calm down, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what, like, but if it's me. What's no, she but, like when it's you? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. If it's me, yeah. <laughs> if it's me, like today, yeah. She was like, ah, oh, babe, could you feed Zeph? I was thinking the Arsenal game was on. Yeah. So I was like, okay, hey, like, wait, I'm sorry. coming. I'm coming. She's like, babe, feed, I told you to feed Zeph. I'm like, yeah, so when it's me, no, that's it, do something, there's a delay. When is it? What's it? It has to be done now. Hypocrite. So, but, but what is it you were asking? Because she's asking I can't remember. to feed your child. I can't remember. Ah, wait. Ah, ah, don't tell me like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, she's got to feed your child. No, but Zeph can wait two minutes. Feed your child. He can wait two minutes. She's going to come on the TL and say, he's a deadbeat dad. He don't feed his son. Nah, that's what she did. You out here watching football, you ain't feeding your kids. I'm screaming. Nah, that's what. But overall, she's been cool. Um, I've been at home this past week. Again, of course. Yeah, but obviously I've finished. I've oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it, it's so true, it's true. I've literally just been doing like house husband, like the drop offs, mm, yeah. the dinners, everything, the school. Nah, like, that's good. Good. Yeah, man. You reckon you could do that full time if, if, if that's gonna be the reality. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, obviously I'm gonna be fully remote in it. We so. love an apple man. Yeah, man. So obviously work. A present her up, father. Her. Here we applaud fish for swimming. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I said we were both issues. But I don't know if I can be a house husband though. Like, let's and say she was to secure all. the bag and I'm just not working. I don't know if I can. Mm. Yeah, yeah. First. Yeah. Even if it made it made sense for you to be the one that does the like. I don't know, man. Is it is it that true to me, man? <laughs> yeah, is it that true to you? I don't know if I could do it. Can oh, you man do it? Can you man be a, a full fledged house husband? I don't know if I can. No, just because of uh, it's a lot of work, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, house husband. Well, with a kid, yeah. Children. What? So this past week, I haven't been working. So I've literally just been at home, taking the herd to, um, to work, taking her to nursery, yeah. coming back, doing what I need to do at home, house chores. No, I, I think I can. I think dinner, I can. Picking them up. No, I think I can. It's a lot of hard, it's, it's hard work, though. Long, but I think bro. I could, though. And that's why I was like, babe, I actually respect you guys, you know. And, the, and it's not easy. Even working as well. She's working as yeah, well. I'm doing that, so. But, but, huh? if I live, not even got to it. But if it makes financial sense for her to go out and work, all day, like if she's actually getting to a bag that mm-hmm. I can't compete with. Yeah, yeah, then it makes sense. I'll, I'll, you have to I, yeah, I know, I'll find a way to hustle at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the first day that I done it, yeah, because uh, obviously, you know, when she's on maternity leave, yeah. she's at home and was there it. And that's basically her job in it. And then I'll come back. She's like, baby, it's been damn tired. I'm like, ah, you've been at home now. Like, you've been at <laughs> yeah, home. Yeah, you know, like, the first thing, because I worked at home and I was doing it as well. I was yeah. like, babe, this is light, man. Oh, you know what's complaining. You, you didn't have work. <laughs> Someone that just but, gave birth but was your A few bro. days after, I was like, damn, like, this is long, man. Like, tough. I respect you guys. So yeah, mm, I, I, t- I took back what I said. But you man got anything though? Yeah. What did your fiance say? So, yeah. What did they do this week? Anything? <laughs> yeah. Tell we'll start off with you. What did she do this week? It could be good or bad. So if we guess, we, we don't say <laughs> yeah, come and slay them. It could be good or it could be but bad. But if it's controversial, we like it. Yeah. What did my fiance do this week? That's interesting. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, good or bad, fine. Bro. Nah, I only the bad stuff. I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. She might get on to me for sharing this, but it's mm-hmm. funny, Sham. Yeah. So you see, um, when you man came to my crib when they when mm-hmm. they yeah. went to yeah. dinner, yeah, and obviously mm-hmm. they all brought uh leftovers. Yeah, right? I heard uh, of this. You know what I mean? Oh, she, yeah. didn't bring, she didn't bring leftovers. No, she did, she did, didn't it? So obviously hey, I got some way in the hole for me. Oh, you haven't eaten yours yet. Nah, bro, I've been busy. But but already you yeah. can see, right? They brought it home and they gave it to their partner, right? Mm-hmm. So it's I, true. That's so okay. I thought that was the pattern. Yeah. You know what I mean, I thought she brought it home for me. That's yeah. the kind of thing, innit? So the next morning now, she's asleep. She comes into the living room. I'm on my laptop and I was doing a bit of work and I was eating it. <laughs> and then she's looking at me like, what are you doing? And I'm like... My leftovers, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm eating shit. I'm eating my gear. Like, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm eating my food. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> And she's uh, like, but it was uh, mine. You didn't even think about me. Wait, think about when you said, uh, when you said, uh, when you said, listen, listen, bro. Listen, 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 bro. We, we uh, didn't even really get into it at that point. Yeah. We kind of just left it and they carried on. <laughs> they went to the gym. They're on the way to the gym. She's like, I've got something to say. Oh, uh, and I'm like, hello. Okay, what's up? She was say like, it. I don't like the way you didn't think about me with the food <laughs> thing. I was like, bro, like, oh, more. <laughs> But it's the other way around, guys. This is never a this yeah, is never yeah. a discussion. Ah, sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. So she, so she, did, she didn't bring you back no food, basically. <laughs> she she actually said she was, she thought we were gonna share it, but oh, okay. oh so you finished it. Is it mine? I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> is it mine? Respect. <laughs> Deserve to finish that, and I, and I hope you enjoy it. She knows it. the way I eat too, bro. That, yeah. that that wouldn't have fed both of us. I heard that. 
but yeah. Yeah. it wasn't all that serious. But that's that's the only thing I can think of. That was, that's that's I, a bit funny. That was funny. That was funny. That's a bit funny because if I was, we we beef for food, but yeah. like, if I finish our food, we be beefing. Because yeah. <laughs> the thing is as well. Um, I scrapped it. That was good though. No, it was, it it was, was nice. Actually, it was I got home. I just I balanced it. Was actually nice because she she even it. told she even told Abs Abs came into the room was like oh. Um, but she snitched. Yeah, she snitched. I think she snitched in her GC. What time? <laughs> <laughs> but it was in the hey, bro, morning. In the GC. It was in the morning. <laughs> like, it might be morning. Bro, was you, you don't need to run the timestamps. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are nine. She didn't yeah. say nine. To run but the I, I was like, oh, you Damn. know what's funny? Yo? What's it cool? So she she was complaining that Tammy ate the food. Ate her food. I was like, why wouldn't he eat the food? Did you not bring it all back for us? Damn. I'm sorry. AK, you got any? Yeah, what about you, bro? You know what? Yeah, to be fair, like, uh, my babe, she only got back Friday morning, innit? Yeah. Like, so she... Yeah, that's yeah. my woman, man. Yeah. Like, she only got... Yeah, my, <laughs> fi- <laughs> my like, She only got back... She's been on holiday, so she got back Friday, like, Friday morning, so... Yeah. There's not been there enough no time, time to... Really... But what, can I ask you a question? So, when um you guys go on holiday, when your spouse goes on holiday, mm. what's the communication like? Uh, you, you know what, yeah. Um... When I go on holiday, yeah. In fact, yeah, one reply a week. <laughs> nah, 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 you <laughs> know what? Day, what? What I do, um, I try to think as much as possible, but I'm just realistic. Like, so it depends. Where have I been? I think with, with Nigeria, it's when I have service. So cool. I try small, small. And once in a while, when maybe it was a late night, I, I might have called her. Where have I gone before? Where she, so we're in Milan, here and there during the day, but bro. In the night, I was conk. I was sleeping well with Milan. To be fair, so I would conk. So I wouldn't be like that speak to her in the evening. What? That he was sleeping well with Milan. No, we were active. Yeah, that yeah. okay. like, everyone was conked. because we were active from yeah. morning to night. So then, by the time everyone touched bed, everyone was out like a yeah. light. I hear that. Yeah, because yeah, so. even even obviously this is the Cancun. Some of the Cancun gang in it. So then my sees up, sees up, <laughs> but. So the, the woman obviously saying, oh, you have to call us every day. You have oh, to she get a call once in the morning and once before bed. Tower, Tower hasn't requested that because she knows it's never happened. <laughs> I heard that, bro. I hear that. I was good. I'm on holiday with the lads. Why, what's, the, what's the meaning of holiday? But it's not that I won't talk to her, though. I'm, my thing is just, I'm not, this might sound crazy, I'm not going to make or schedule time to talk to you. Like, there will be times when I'm on my phone, not doing anything. I'll shout you if you're free with chat, but I'm not going to be like, yeah. I'm going to make sure between six yeah. and seven I can catch you, bro. It's a week, man. Hey, man, we're going to be acting out there, to be fair. Well, see, same we same when she's we on can't have that same approach because we got yeah, a child. I, I can't have have <laughs> <laughs> we we have to be willing to check out the children, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're there three days. I'll be nice on your phone. I'll call cool in the mornings and in the evenings. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. Find a pattern that works for you, innit? Yeah. I'm not sure. Before we go out, why am I spending my perfume to go out? <laughs> and, and, and I think looking after a child on your own is difficult. So you got to make sure they're coping well and stuff. Yeah, yeah. she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Yeah. She'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Obviously, family will come and clutch that week. But it is what it yeah. is. We're, we're going in March. That's not, it's not on half time. No, nah, I think we're going literally a couple of weeks before half time. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. But, um, Damn, you just baited the dates. Your fans are going to be at the airport waiting for you. <laughs> wow, hey, don't, don't kill me. me. Hey, don't bad. kill me. I don't, I don't mind any uh, basketball. You know those mm. tunnel pictures when you're walking through? Hey, don't thing, kill I never down <laughs> But obviously, um, no, I said, uh, yeah, pretty much what our wife did this week. So, um, Do you have any baby developments? Let me run. Uh, he almost rolled. No, he rolled. Mm-hmm. And I missed it. But I've said he rolled. So, but yeah. then he hasn't rolled since. So, so I think it was just that, like man. a... Like a fluke. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, nah, he's he's starting to get into that mm-hmm. stage. But even like changing him as well, he's getting to the stage where he just like moving his legs bears and mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. I'm having to fight him to change. Mm-hmm. And I can't lie, he's he, he's definitely his father's son because he's got his hands, he's got strong, grip. He's yeah, strong, yeah, yeah, it's hard yeah, yeah. to it's a myth still. You know what I mean? But um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Too. Mm-hmm. What about now you? what you said about when you want them to do it again is giant, because today, yeah, obviously Seth started saying like different words now. Yeah. So today wasn't a shock. And then he went, mango, mango, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, say it again, say it again. <laughs> and he didn't say it. it was just oh, silent. I was like, yeah. Wait, did you try and record those moments? Nah, but because nah. it just comes. Yeah. So obviously we're like, do it again, do it again. It, he doesn't do it again. Because I think as well, when you say do it again, do it again, it puts pressure on them as well. Maybe. But I was like, mango, like, mango. I was going to say it again. Like, <laughs> and he wasn't saying it. Yeah. That's, that's um, Muzef. He's been saying like little words and he's putting words together. So now mm. he says, bye. So now he's like, bye daddy, bye daddy. Yeah, so that's, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Nah, so that's what he's been doing still. this week. Nah, that's cute, as, as any, oh no, has Zeph picked up any words that, or like phrases that you say at home? Nah. 
yeah. So you, can't, you shouldn't be so playing yeah. ski and uh, yeah. And obviously, gyms. obviously, yeah, I've been working on my my language. And yeah, yeah. So yeah, he hasn't picked up. So I, yeah. now he started to say little things. I'm keeping it. Yeah. And I took him soft play on Friday, which was yeah. kind, of, kind of fun. So yeah, we spent time together, which was cool. That's good as yeah, well. You even said you wanted to start taking him just you and yeah, man. You and him, spending nice. more time together. He's getting older. So. All right, we'll be joining you there soon. All right. Yeah, man. And even we've even got um his first swimming on Wednesday, so. Okay. Next episode, that? I'll be able to update. No, no, hopefully, it's, going, going, hopefully, it's going to go well. It's just anyway, getting but. him in the water, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. just getting him in the water. But And yeah, I can't lie, like, he's goes, been doing man. really well with, in terms of bath time, like when we put water on his face and everything, mm-hmm. he, got, he used to cry bears, but now he's mm-hmm. like, it's pretty cool, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. Tough, right? Hey, right, bro, that's what I say all the time, but mm-hmm. I was just, you know. That's fine. It's okay, bro. Bro, why did they get... Emma gets us to be for that as well, you know? Bro. If I say you tough right, she'll be like, oh, don't say that. I'm like, bro, like... <laughs> tough right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. But, yeah, so, it's obviously, I just got you guys on, man. Um, I think we're probably best off to start off with them giving a little bit of background. Yeah, how you met your wife. Start off with I don't have a wife. Fiance. Fiance. Ah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the future. It's the future. Come on. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, give us, like, a little overview of how you met your fiance. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. So obviously, um, we had, we went to the same church at the same, at the time. That's how I first yeah. met her. Play, play oh. where you pray. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I can't lie. Some people say playing for no. your, where you pray. Sometimes it works. We have testimony. No, 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 no. The difference is sometimes some, it works. No, some people go to play where they pray. I was praying and go over my eyes. Okay. There's a difference. There's yes. a difference. Did you get I was, you no, no, none of that. I don't. I know what it is. So go to you're gonna be my wife. Go to nah. you, you're my wife. Nah, I think. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so like, I th- we became friends mm. and then we were like, speaking more and more. And I'm kind of like, I used to really like compartmentalize like my, my friends that were women one side. Yeah. And would never, if I'm going to speak to somebody romantically, mm-hmm. someone that like, more often than not, we, we don't have like a relationship first. We just get mm-hmm. to know each other straight mm-hmm. out of the mm-hmm. back. But then I remember I used to joke about, I had, this, I had said this to Tuna the other day and I was saying like, oh, there's there's one proverb I heard where it's like, a man who hangs around a beautiful woman without speaking his intentions <laughs> will end up fetching water at her wedding. Mm-hmm. So obviously I was like, cool. Can we say it again for those who didn't know? Yeah, so a man who hangs... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, so a man who hangs around a beautiful woman without stating his intentions will end up fetching water for the guests at her wedding. Mm, yeah. Sorry, along those lines, mm. in it. Oh, I mean, so you cup, you get left behind. So yeah, basically, basically you know. So, like, and this is so. How did you state your intentions? Never, ah, bro, never done it before. So I'm like, bro, I've never done the whole. So mm. I think this is we must have gone out one time, like yada yada yada. So yeah, I dropped her home, and yeah, I was just, I just said to her, I was just like, you know what, I mean, Baby, I I'm a. Ju- <laughs> <laughs> so much. Nah, you can't can't come out at that angle. But I was just like, um, like, because we See, were becoming yeah, just <laughs> stop, bro, stop, stop. We were, <laughs> we were like, we were friends, but we hadn't got to that bit where it was like, ah, oh, it's too like locked in now for me to like go that mm. way kind of thing. So I was like, before it gets to that, let me just. So I just told her that like, um, I'm enjoying our friendship. But I can see us becoming more than friends. Ooh. And then yeah. she like, said, yeah, she was like, okay, like let's see how it goes. But <laughs> that's not the end of the story, Sha. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. bro, she 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 like, I don't know if she wants me to say it, Sha, but we have we have God for every people, so we speak the truth. Yeah. <laughs> she 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 had like cold feet, like yeah. so mm-hmm. then she kind of like pulled back. How did that make you feel at the time? Ah, damn, this is a no, <laughs> Bro, I forgot about that. I actually remember you told me about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how did yeah, it make I you feel? It. I won't lie. Because you know, some, sorry to interrupt, but some, mm-hmm. some men from the first sign of cold feet, especially in this generation, mm-hmm. like a lot of women are complaining where yeah. men are like, okay, bye. Yeah. On to the next babe. So with you, you, you dug in, like you yeah. stayed. I think, oh, don't get twisted. Like, I think I had like, you know, mixed like, Thoughts in it because it's kind of yeah. like, like kind of like you said. It's kind of like you know people come with this whole like you just if you if you're on me you're on me you should know yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. But then I guess it wasn't more me. It was just about the situation. And I guess we've spoken about it. Mm-hmm. And we've packed, unpacked it a bit more recently. So mm-hmm. like I, I've kind of got our understanding behind it. Mm-hmm. But I was just kind of like, damn. I think at first the first thing was like. Ah, <laughs> is there anything wrong in me? What did I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was thinking, damn. <laughs> is it because of my size? Hey. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So obviously, I was thinking, uh, like, damn. Like, I thought I was a fly. I thought I was a fly brother. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was just like, ah, cool. But you know what? I was just like, I think one thing as well was like, it take when how do you take rejection in as a guy? I'm like, I don't want to be like okay. Once you don't get what you want, you want from a woman, you're just moving some type of way. So like we we carried on <laughs> with this guy, <laughs> we mm-hmm. carried on speaking, mm-hmm. 
as friends, obviously, you know, mm-hmm. yada, yada, yada. So I, I just, I guess I was persistent in a sense, innit? Um, I that. Then I think I must have gone on holiday towards like the end of the year. It's when I went to Dubai. Mm-hmm. And then I think, I think she kind of missed me a little bit, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. And then when I got back, we saw each other like a few times, and then um, I think eventually, like we had a chat, just kind of like you know, like so what's so what's happening? She, obviously, she was like, "Cool, let's see how it goes." She said she made me promise that oh, if it don't work out, that we'll still be friends. I said, "Forget, I, I, if it I don't said, work out, we ain't friends said, no more, it, man." It, it, I can't promise that, but okay. But I was just like, to be fair, I won't like barring any unforeseen circumstances. I can see us going like like the right way mm-hmm. so, and a year fast yeah. forward you know uh, like, so yeah. funny that Dubai trip I just realised you were flexing on, on the ground he was, no, he was, he was yeah, bro, this guy put like four posts in, in one week, one week bro. Yeah. Was one of, like sipping cocktails in Dubai what about you yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> now I'm just deeper you were talking you were flexing on E you was yeah like, you were you, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's that's happening that's a good point I'm glad to let him know I'm that you know that's a good point I'm good with a watch that's a good point no 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 but yeah um yeah, Temi, you, let's, how did you meet your wife uh, or your cool. fiancé? So, same church, to be fair. Um, I was friends with her, so about four years ago, we met. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was friends with her. We were just cool, to be fair. I remember at the start, I did, let me just be honest, I did, like, look at her and be, I was like, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see, I can see this. I, can yeah, see I, was, I, was, I wasn't even, I was never really that guy with relationship. This is my first relationship. I was yeah, never like, so, oh, I see a spot of babe and I'm like, mm-hmm, I want to. Mm-hmm. But I was just like. That's wife material kind of mm. thing. But then we had a conversation and she was like, oh, she don't want to date anyone in church. Oh. So that straight away, I just left my mind. Yeah. So she was yeah. just my bedroom. So we're friends, friends, friends. Then Ken, I don't know if you remember this. It's your one that spoke spoke into this the first time. So ah, bro, of, of course. Thank you for my flowers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, of no, course you were like this, this, this kind of your uh, this kind of your material, bro. Now, bro. What did I say? What did I say? Um, so we were at her birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, it was at Chantel's crib, mm-hmm. and we came together, mm-hmm. and then. I think for, they left, they forgot something, so we had to go to Tesco. But you know, there's a Tesco. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember. So we went to Tesco, and on the way back, I don't know why you said it, but you were like, bro, have you ever thought about like approach, approaching yeah. Tyler or something? Yeah. I was like, bro, that's my guy. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, like, I, I remember that. And I can't remember what your reasoning was, but we kind of just brushed it. Mm-hmm. But then that day, bro, she was just onto me. I don't know what it was. See how man. God used to be. She's onto me. And it wasn't, it was just confusing. Like we'd had, we'd have Flanta as part mm-hmm. of our friendship, but this mm-hmm. time it was like, it was a bit heavier. Yeah. 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 And then I think maybe one of her girls, not made comments, but like when we would be together, they would like leave the room, stuff oh, like that. So yeah. I was like, okay, I could tell something's been said. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, nothing kind of came from that. So now as we're talking, after that day now, it's in my head. I'm like, hmm. let me let me see what it is. And the thing is, I'm very good at like, <laughs> I'm very good at confusing people without actually saying anything, innit? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So now I'm just dropping subliminal, subliminal, mm-hmm. subliminal. Mm-hmm. She, I can tell she's rattled. She's mm-hmm. confused. She came to my crib, my, my parents' crib, to help me wrap presents. That was the that was the gist I gave her, um, <laughs> and, <laughs> then, and that day I fired her with subliminals. Then the next day she just called me and stuck it on me, and she was just like, "And you guys know Tyra, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is better, like mm-hmm. not yeah, like her character." Out, out she was just like, "If you've got something to say, say it," kind of thing. I was like, oh. "Damn, <laughs> I, like, right. I went." She figured me out. Fair place. Then that's yeah. yeah. I just told her then, like, yeah, like I want to explore to see mm. to see if it could be could be something more. Mm-hmm. Um, luckily, that was during COVID because mm. obviously my first relationship. If I'm being honest, if that was outside of COVID, I said to her before, I mm. don't know how it would have worked because I might have. I started falling for a fast, mm. so I was like, if that was outside of COVID where we were seeing each other and it was even faster, I might have oh. self destructed and been like, yo, this is too much. Like, yeah. Yeah. back off. So mm. I think that helped. okay, yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask you guys a question. Um, yeah, yeah. Because you guys both met them and you were friends first. Mm. So what about your fiancés made you want to take it to that next level? So I'll go with you first because you just... Yeah. So what about Tyler made you say, you know what, I want I want you kind of mm-hmm. thing. So, so, so with that question, it's interesting. So I've always been like a, a guy's guy, pause. But mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like all, all, my, all my close friends <laughs> yeah, since yeah. I've been young have been man them. Yeah. I've had the yeah. odd friend and I've, oh, I've got some... Good female friends now, mm-hmm. but my closest guy, I've always been Mandem. Mm-hmm. And chilling with Mandem is always like my preferred mm-hmm. option. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That sounds better. Well, for any of my, bro, it's not for any of my female <laughs> friends, watch it. I'm sorry, but I like, I prefer <laughs> chilling with Mandem, innit? Yeah. So, in terms of people that were mad close to me at the time that I would actually like tell like the, the deep stuff to, no, no girls, really. Mm-hmm. Um, but for some reason with her, 
it was just different. Like when she was in my bedroom, she was mm. like, she just had the key. Like she mm. was just so cool. For some reason, she just cracked the code. She just had, I don't, I don't know what it was. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I was already, she kind of had a, mm-hmm. like a special spot where she mm. was like, one of the man them, but mm. she's a girl that I'm, I'm attracted to. Mm. Then I think the other thing, because we were friends, I knew her character. And I think that was something that's important for me. Like, I think one of the reasons streets are so cold right now, you can't trust no one, bro. You don't know yeah. what people are on. But when yeah, you're friends yeah. with someone and it's genuine yeah. friendship, yeah. you know what each other's on. Like, yeah. I know what you're on. I know the mm-hmm. kind of person you are. I know, I know how you, we never really argued, but like times with Vicar, I know how respectful you are. I know, I know what your moral standpoint is. So I think mm-hmm. those were like all the boxes checked for me kind of mm-hmm. thing already. And like the biggest one, like we met in church. And I knew, yeah. I could, she was like, a good influence on me with, yeah. with my relationship with God. So yeah. already I was like, this is someone that's going to bring me closer to Christ, not drag me away from Christ. So I was like... Which is very important. So well. all those boxes were checked. The last one was just, are you feeling the kid? Yeah. 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 And yes. yeah, thankful, thankful yeah. she was. Yeah. I heard that. Mm-hmm. about you, bro? <sighs> yeah, nah. So with me, you know what? Yeah, I remember... Um, because I actually said it to you one time as well, funny Is that another one of my flowers? Yeah, no, nah, like, I yeah. think... Um, <laughs> there's a time I think Bible study. Where are you, bro? Oh, <laughs> my God. He was too busy. He was, he was getting ready to propose. Oh, true, true. Yeah, yeah, true. He was getting ready to propose. Yeah, true, true. He was thinking, where will my friends fight love? Oh, he was thinking, Gio was probably praying. Yeah. No, honestly, like, true. Um, Kim was putting us on. Yeah, no. Nah, so I think, um, <laughs> just like, I think, yeah, kind of at the time, I wasn't like, when I, I was like, I'm just, it's just me and God. Like, mm. you know, we're just co- what we're covering in church at the moment. Like, it's about, oh, I, I'm just going to be single kind mm-hmm. of thing. Like, I'm not looking for it, right? And then I remember there's a time, I think I must have sat next to her because we were cool. Like, I, I knew her, but we hadn't really, like, actually, it's really actually ignited, like, a friendship properly yet. Mm. And I remember I must have sat next to her um, in Bible study one time. I think one of the boys, one of the boys, think, man, you gave me, like, a, this, like, wire cell, like, book cover thing. So yeah. I used to have my Bible and my, my notepad in it. Mm-hmm. She was getting on to me like, oh, why so like yada yada yada, and then I think the rest of the thing we were just like, you know when the, you know when the banner just it flows, yeah, ah, for everything, because it's another boost. But yeah, don't get, ah yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but was, and I think I remember I was just like I remember saying to the kid I was like, hey, what, Evan, you know? And mm-hmm. It was just like that was it, mm-hmm. nothing, nothing more. But I was just like, right, like yeah, cool. And then obviously when we started to become friends, like obviously she just got like a general spirit. Um, mm-hmm. But I also liked as well that. Um, because I could see, though, she wasn't a pushover. Like, she still held mm. her own ground. And I always used to say, I need someone that holds their own ground because I could just, I could just take over. Like, you know what I mean? So, mm. like, like a nice little balance. So, yeah. And then um, as we just carried on, like, yeah, like, things just flowed well. So, yeah, yeah that was it for me, really. Yeah. No, okay. fair. That's cool. Um, And so, obviously, yeah, so me, met them, got together. So obviously, when we were all talking in our own groups, you man were planning to like propose next mm. year, and obviously, you guys came to my crib. Uh, I I don't even know if it was it was just after you went home, right? Yeah. And obviously, like AK dropped told me that oh yeah, I'm, oh, I I went to her and I put down the deposit on the ring, and then I was like ah oh, I was I was very happy because I was like okay yeah so we're we're doing this now, and then Temi was like. Oh, me too, bro. And I looked at him and said, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, me, I just looked at him and said, like, shut up, man. And then he was like, no, I can show you the receipt. And I said, I said, okay, bring your phone, show me. <laughs> and then when I saw the transaction, I was like, oh, hey. Yeah. Because I knew yours was always going to happen whenever, like, whenever you're ready. But the way this guy was saying, 25, and he just came and dropped it like that. I was thinking, wait, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Like, wait, what, what changed in your mind, didn't it? Mm. And obviously, we didn't get to really talk like that because um, obviously, Mali and I wasn't on PlayStation as much, so I wouldn't have been able to speak like that. Yeah. So what kind of made you both deep that, okay, let me just get, not get over and done with, but you know what I mean? Like, do it now rather than continue waiting. Yeah. So I guess the original reason that I wasn't planning on proposing, or I wouldn't even say planning, but in my head, I was like, I'm going to propose mm-hmm. in like a few years was because of, situation she's okay so tyro is a student midwife she went back to uni to study midwifery so she was not graduating for like a year and a half yeah so i was like i don't really want to put her through the wedding planning process wow. Wow. She's yeah. A, yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. a student da, 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 da. but then i think this year our relationship just maybe it was like towards the end of last year there was like a switch mm-hmm. in our relationship where like 
you guys probably understand what I mean, where it's like we level, we like leveled up. If there's levels to relationship, we yeah. like leveled up. And I started to really see the benefit of two people who are on the same wavelength. Like yeah. when she's at my crib, she treats it like it's her crib. You know what mm. I mean? Like yeah. what's that's important. Like even the things, her plans are like my plans. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. we're building a life together. Like, mm-hmm. wow. And it's, she sees the things that are important to me are as important to me as they are to her and vice versa. And as I was just, obviously we don't live together. So, you know, you only get snippets of it. Yeah. And then, yeah. then, then she goes and I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Yeah, 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 I yeah. want this full time, and then yeah, I was deep yeah, in like yeah, yeah. Nah, with marriage. Obviously, man. obviously, we've got to be realistic with it because there's there's logistics to getting married. But at the end of the day, I was like, I don't want logistics to get in the way of us doing our life together. And I could just tell we both wanted it, but mm. for various reasons, we were like, oh no, we got to wait X amount of time. And I just kind of just got fed up. Not fed up, but I was kind of like, whatever's in the way, we will handle it kind of thing yeah. if it's peas will pattern it you know what I mean as long as the family is okay as long as the families are okay with it and obviously I went to speak to all the people I need to speak to yeah. and all the families were cool so I was like bro it's just us like let's let's do this let's kind do of thing this. and then and then it and then it was then I started to think okay she's not ready for this at all like she doesn't expect it not ready but she doesn't expect this yeah. I was like oh this is unique because I feel like with most couples it's like they're surprised but they they know it's coming, it's coming in yeah. the next it's, there's been three discussion. months, yeah, six yeah, months yeah, kind of thing. Like she, one, she, she had no She idea. was blind. Like, yeah. she didn't. I was like, she's going to cry. That like, yeah, yeah, yeah. was my goal. I was like, make her no, yeah. she's day. For what I have gone through to do this, you must cry. <laughs> no yeah, she bro. cried. <laughs> I think she needed her makeup two or three times. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's she, yeah. good. Yeah, she, good. she just, I like, literally watched her just implode. Yeah. Because when you see that, yeah. you see the emotion, and it's not that we want you to cry, but over, you know, obviously, mm-hmm. I want you to see that you're actually so happy over this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That not that you can't control your emotions, but mm-hmm. that you're you're weeping of joy. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, you so, wanted to feel special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Um, Go on. Like proposing, to, obviously, we'll come to you in a sec. Yeah, but proposing to someone is like are you basically saying yes forever. Like I want yeah. you to be my wife forever. So when you pop, when you bought the ring. Mm. And you had you started planning, etc. Did you go through any nerves, or were you like thinking, "Damn, like I'm really about to get married soon. I'm really gonna be with this woman forever." Like, how was your mind through that process? So this is this is a good question, right? Because because <laughs> I, I I brought a situation to another one of my friends, Yojidi. Jidi. Jidi's mm-hmm. been on your yeah. podcast actually, mm-hmm. and he said this similar thing happened to him. But it was like as soon as I resolved in my mind, and even especially after I picked up the ring, mm-hmm. it's like any little thing. You guys even said it in a couple a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It's not any little thing. I'm like, oh my goodness, like I'm about to lock this in. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it'll be the tiniest thing. It'll yeah, be like yeah, the yeah. tiniest thing. Like yeah. I'm trying to think of an example of what something she would do. I don't know. So yeah, I was trying to get her to get her nails done. Obviously, mm-hmm. for the proposal, she missed her appointment. And I was just thinking, oh, this is this is my life now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'll, yeah, be, the, it'll be the smallest thing. I'm like, oh, I'm going to marry someone that's always going to make me late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? But yeah. I think, like, that's just either the devil or it's mm-hmm. nerves or whatever. Like, it's, it's mm-hmm. I think, thankfully, I, we, we kind of went through the process together. Yeah. So yeah. anytime I had a little niggle, we kind of just went back and forth. Yeah. He's probably experienced the same, same thing that thing. morning. Yeah, 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 and yeah, then, you know what I mean? Then you deep, like, this is just... You know what I mean? These things happen. Mm. It's nothing nothing too serious. Mm. You know? So I did have a couple, but no, mm-hmm. no, thankfully, uh, no, no serious yeah, nerves. Right. And I, I, her sister, I have to shout her out. Mm-hmm. She was like the MVP for the whole thing. Yeah. I spoke to her like multiple times a week, like right, every yeah. week until until the proposal. So I feel like any, I don't want to say doubts, but any nerves I kind of had, she kind of just she was just shaking them out mm. of me as we were mm. going. I heard that. What about you, bro? What made you decide to propose when you did? Um, you know what? I think quite early into a relationship, I think I kind of like, I, I, I don't, I'm not hundred percent on the way, you know, you know, kind of thing, but like, mm. I just kind of was just like, okay, I'm sure in it. Like, um, I know I want to, I know I want to marry this girl, but I, I thought, you know, like obviously still early days, let's give it some time. And I remember, I think I had a call with you in it and I just called and said, yeah, bro, I'm going to do it. Like, so this year. And then I was just like, and he was just like, oh, what made you? I was just like, bro, I'm just ready. Like, why wait? Kind of thing. So, mm. Like, kind of like he said as well, because I think this is my first relationship as well. And you know what? Yeah, it's too funny because sometimes people talk about the honeymoon stage, like say, by the start, everything's blessed. But for me, bro, the start of the relationship was actually tough. Like, not tough in terms of like, mm. oh, you don't know what we've been through to get here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, none, yeah, of those, yeah. none of those stories. Yeah. But just like, like the struggle, love. Yeah, it was just a lot to adapt to. Like, yeah. you know, knowing like, bro, oh, when can, like, yeah, we're just like, because she's, it's her first relationship as well. And I remember she even said at the start, 
if I'm not doing any funeral, if I'm not doing any funeral, let me know. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm new to this too. Like, yeah. <laughs> so it's my first like, day out here. Yeah, real. Yeah. So I was just kind of like, we're on the fly. We're like learning as we go along, mm-hmm. obviously. But then kind of like Timmy was saying, like, you just hit a point where because we, but because I said to her, like, I've chosen to commit to you. So it's not about any little problems coming up. We'll work through them. As long mm-hmm. as we're, as long as we are willing to commit to working through any things that come up and mm-hmm. we're committed to one another, it should be fine. Mm-hmm. And I think we worked the hard yards and we got to a place where it just, not automatic, but like now it's just like, yeah, like it's just, it's just, it's just good. And it's just like, kind of, kind of like, I think Tim put it like nice to me when we had a conversation. He was just like, you know what, like I kind of already, not that we're married yet, but like, I kind of have it in my mind where it's like, this is my wife anyway. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I feel like it feels weird just calling her my girlfriend. Like, yeah. like at least my mm-hmm. fiance. Like, cause even like, it's true. Like sometimes like one of my family members, they visited one time and they were just like, Oh, um, this is before I propose. Oh, when you come and visit, cause they're from America, I'll bring your fiance. And I didn't really flinch. Cause it was just like, obviously I knew I already know I was doing it, but I was just like, yeah, like since my girlfriend, yeah. <laughs> Not, mm-hmm. but that's all we'll come and say, Oh, like, how's your little girlfriend? It's yeah. like, it's my fiance actually. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think I was just ready. That's so, really yeah. interesting. Do you know what? Like, when she was my girl, mm-hmm. or like, like, yeah, when we went from friends to being a girl, I found it really hard mm. to start calling her my girl. Like, it was weird. Mm. Like, it was just so foreign to me. Mm-hmm. But the switch from girl to fiance was so steep. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, the next day, I was calling her my fiance to yeah. anybody that asked. Yeah, like, and yeah. It, was, yeah. it wasn't a thing. Yeah. And you guys um, both done surprise proposals. Well, most proposals are surprise yeah. anyway. Mm. But, yeah, you guys on a, a na- you guys are nice ones, yeah, very nice ones. It was beautiful to see. I wanted to ask you, what was that process like from the beginning of planning the surprise to the end? Like for the guys that are planning surprise yeah. proposals in the future, like what advice can you give them? How was your journeys like in that stage? What's that? Yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, first and foremost, like, what's the biggest challenge? The biggest yeah, challenge. Tell me the biggest challenge. I guess it's just one keeping a surprise, keeping a yeah. surprise, mm-hmm. surprise. Two, um, acting normal. I think a lot of it is the biggest pressure is really is truly is the simple fact that it's a surprise and your mm. girl can't know. Like obviously, you, if your girl's your girl's your best friend, then that yeah, it's like you're used to telling her everything. If I catch an L, if I'm like, oh, I need to pay for this or oh, I've spent this much this month for all my days, like oh, something's happened, mm. I'll tell her. So obviously, I'm paying for certain things for like the post behind the scenes. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> There's a time where I think I think this is when I now got the ring. So I paid off the rest of the ring, the money for the ring. Mm-hmm. And I must have put some money down for like some of the other proposal stuff. So I'd mm-hmm. spent like quite a bit in like the space of like 10 days. Mm. I was like, huh, no more. It's tight. And then obviously we were meant to go out and I, I didn't want to like cancel it. Because to her, she was like, all right, well, what's happened? So I just had to firm it. Man, I don't think you guys are drowning. I'm drowning, y'all. <laughs> so keeping yeah. that as a surprise was probably mm-hmm. the toughest. And then I guess just, yeah, like, Maybe the logistics, just getting everything like all together. But I think, um, yes, yeah, one is nice having to me like just kind of like mm. we were kind of also like checkpointing each other, like, oh, yeah, what's going on with the photographer? Mm. You got this or mm. what's, what's it looking like? Or how much left do you need to get patterned? And then as well, shout out uh, Eben, her friend Temi as well. Like, she mm. helped me out with some things as well on the side, especially mm. like helping me get because well, the people that she wanted there as well. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was that- it really. What about you, bro? What was, what was that process like for you? So I don't even mean to sound big-headed, but I actually don't think it was that hard. Mm. Is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. what, makes, what makes you think it was quite smooth? So, first of all, this makes me sound crazy, mm-hmm. but lying is, lying is very, very easy. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. No, I know that sounds crazy. Don't believe that. No, no, literally, 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 literally. Don't care. It's a superpower that I I I don't mm-hmm. I don't abuse it. I don't abuse it. Yeah, yeah don't kill me. When it came to when it came to like poker face strong fam. Like having to navigate her mm-hmm. to kind of like do inception on her to mm-hmm. make her think it was her idea to get her, get her ring sized and you know, mm-hmm. like find a way for her to Jeez, set the damn, date. That's bro. dangerous, bro. Bro, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. how, did, how did you make bro. her? Yeah, how did you do that, that bro? Bro, I don't even know how I did it. You know, sometimes you scare yourself. Like, mm. like, I was like, am I this power? Like, <laughs> 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 great power comes great responsibility, bro. Like, we, were, yeah. bro. we were in Lakeside after church. 
And I can't remember what I did. I think we just did this outside H. Samuel. We was looking at her. I think I was, I was joking about rings. I know she didn't like. Yeah. So now, like, this is probably the ring I'm going to buy. This one is even on sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. I just said, oh, should we get our rings checked? I was like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I was yeah. like, because in my head, I was like, I'm going to get her to do it. I don't know how I did it, but then she did mm. it. I was like, <laughs> like, mm. like this, is too, God, this is too damn yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. But if for a tip for anyone that's actually trying to do it, just buy a woman a Pandora ring or something like that, and you can yeah, get it. That's, that's what, what I did. Yeah. That was the, how I that was got my wife. What what I did? I was like, oh, I need to know all your sizes so I can do surprise for you. For example, mm. your shoe size, your clothes size, and then ring size was one of them. So I made her send me all her sizes. I was like, oh yeah, you're missing the ring size. They went to can check, so she mm. didn't know. What I was doing it for, if that makes mm. sense. Yeah. yeah, that's how I done it. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. She was supposed to get her ring sized herself, and I think I did a similar thing. Cause I mm-hmm. said, I said like a year ago, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ask you all of this once. Like, mm-hmm. what's your ring preferences? Yeah, what's your yeah, ring yeah. Size? Because yeah. In two years, when I do, that, yeah, I want yeah, to be a yeah. Surprise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. So yeah, she, but she just ate mm-hmm. up. She, was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she did all of that. Um, mm-hmm. Even like planning the surprise, like. She's she's quite a romantic, so mm. she just eats a lot. Of st- I just knew the stuff she would eat up. So like, I said, oh, we haven't been on a date in a long time. Let's before we go to Italy, we'll go into mm. a friend's wedding. Oh, let's have a date on the Monday mm. because we even did loads of shopping. She's like, oh, we can wear some of the new stuff we mm, wore. Yeah. She's like, oh, my days are such a good. In my, yeah. in my head, I'm just thinking, you don't I, know. I got you. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know. Yeah, yeah, like, that's what you know. Love. Even the date for that, like, I was like, oh, when should we do it? You know, we're traveling on the Wednesday. When she was, oh, she was like, oh. We got a barbecue on a Saturday. I knew those. I knew the only day could be Monday. Yeah, yeah. I knew the only oh, day could be Monday. Is a bad 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 bad. Bad. Yeah. So she set the date right. Yeah, then she yeah. picked the restaurant. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you know, like that kind of thing. So I think the only advice I'll give is just if you really want to surprise her. Obviously, it depends if you, if your girl is a bit more inquisitive. Because mm-hmm. one of my friends said his uh, his girl just asked so many questions. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. So he even said to her one day, like, if you ruin your own proposal, you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But I would say try and be as calculated as, but like treat it like a game. Like, I had mm. quite a lot of fun with it. Like just, mm. you know what I mean? And then, yeah. it, and, then it, and it built for a lot of story after mm. all, like a lot of conversation afterwards to like go Take back, this, yeah, go yeah. back and like, remember when we had this chat? Yeah, because yeah, of this yeah. one, but like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. mm-hmm. but um, my, God's grace, it wasn't that difficult for, mm-hmm. to plan the surprise. Um, mm-hmm. I think family and stuff were probably the harder parts yeah. uh, throughout planning the proposal. Yeah, no. Funny you say that. I wanted to ask you guys as well. What was it like going to sit down with like her parents to get that approval? What yeah, was that I was, like? I was gonna, Cause that was I feel like question. people don't always talk about that. Like yeah. going to ask for permission. Like how is that? Bro, it's hot. It's <laughs> hot. Like yeah. She even told me to calm down. She even like put her hand on my hand. And she was like, "Yeah, my mom's a sweetheart. Like mm-hmm. she's a sweetheart." Um, and. Got a great relationship, mm. so I thought this was gonna be light work. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, I I, uh, I remember her sister called me because she was trying to help me figure out when she'd be at home. Mm-hmm. So her sister called me and was like, "Can't lie, she's at home today, and mm. I was at work. Mm. Like, can you go now?" Mm. So I was like, "Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah." Well. You know, I just took my laptop in the car, I was working. I took my laptop in the car. Um, I need to get the freaking mouse jiggler thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I need to get that. Money job. I need that. I need to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put, hey, anyway, let me not. Save <laughs> 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 myself. Save um, <laughs> myself. Uh, yeah, so we, I pull up, um, I knock on the door. She's me. She's like, oh, is everything okay? I was like, yeah, I'm just checking in. Um, how are you doing? So we sit down, we're talking. Da, da, da. At this point, her dad's in Nige. Mm. Mm. Um, so, and she, he wasn't coming back to like a week before the proposal. So that, oh, okay. Mm. Couldn't tell him in person, which yeah. I was a bit upset about. But um, cool. So I'm like, oh, can you call? Can you call daddy? And she's like, of course. And then, and then she's like, that's not a pause, bro, no, 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 that's a power. <laughs> 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 <'Cause another man. laughs> uh, yeah. Oh god. She's like, why? Why? Like, What's happening? Yeah, no, she, uh, she went to like. What's going on? Quite quick. What's going but on? But I yeah. think it was like a, a worried. Yeah, yeah. I could yeah, see yeah. It in her face that like, she was worried. Like she was like, no, tell me first. Like what is it? And I'm like. All right, cool. At this point, it was like yeah. wrong. So I tried to I tried to resist it for a while, but I could see the worry in her face. Mm. And then when I told her, the relief came. Mm. You know, she was happy. She prayed for me. Da, da, da. And it actually mm. made it easy to speak to her dad on the phone, yeah. to be mm. fair. Um, but I was wet with sweat. Like, yeah. I was... I don't get nervous, bro. But yeah. I was... Mm. I was sweating. Yeah. Like, and I don't... Like, she's so cool. Mm, but yeah. I, it's just... Cra- it's, it's crazy to go to someone and be like, Basically, say I want to take your daughter from you. Yeah, it's, it's kind of mad, and that's um, a big responsibility. Yeah. Yours is like mad. the same as mine because 
Um, Ab's dad was in Niger at the time as well. So okay. I had to call him. Obviously, I told Abby's mum just before I was going Hatton that day anyway. So mm. when I told her, she was all happy and everything, you know, pray for me, all that stuff. But then when it was on the phone, when I was on the phone to her dad, I was... Well, I, I still remember I was in my room, so I was in Chadwell, innit? Mm. And I don't know why, I was just standing in front of my wardrobe trying to suck myself up before I did it. And I said, okay, you know what? I said, no, I forget, let me call him now. So I called him and I was like, <laughs> Good evening, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, But, bro, I, 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 I was on the phone, yeah, and I was just like, hello. <laughs> nah, I was, and he, they even said to call it, wait, was I calling it uncle? I think I called him uncle. I was like, oh, hello, uncle, how are you, et cetera, et cetera. Then I was like, I, I've got to ask you a question. <laughs> And then I dropped it and he was like, no, of course. Why would I say no to you? You're basically part of the mm, family anyway. Yeah. So it was very nice to get that reassurance. But beforehand, Jesus is Lord yeah. is. I was stressed. Yeah. So I, I understand how you were still. I, trust me, I 100% understand. Mm. What about you? What about you? Okay. Bruh, you know what's funny? My, mine was actually even a different situation, isn't it? Because mm. uh, I remember I spoke to her sister, which she's like, oh, um, I spoke to Eben's sister. I was just kind of like, how am I going to be, how am I going to chat to your mom? Mm-hmm. And then logistics wise, she was just like, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to chat to your mom, her mom, my mom before, but she was like, do it and then just come and ask her, speak to her after. Yeah. So I was thinking, I was like, <laughs> feel a little bit away about it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'd rather get this thing, but she's like, you're not gonna be able to do it and keep it a surprise because like, you're just not gonna be able yeah. to find the time to come and do yeah. it mm-hmm. without my sister knowing. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I was just like, you know what? What I'll do is when I do it, first thing I'm like, yeah, I need to see. I need to speak to your mom. So when I did propose, um, yeah, I told her like, "Cool, yeah, I'm coming to speak to your mom." I tell you what, mom, to come speak to her in it. So then, yeah, that next day I came. Yeah, yeah like it's weird because it was even a weirder situation because I was just like on the way. I was just like, worst case scenario, best case scenario, best case scenario. She's like, oh, yeah, it's calm. Worst case scenario, imagine she just came on like. How dare you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, How dare, dare you? you to do that? Bro, because I was thinking, damn, this, this, you know what? This is going away. Because you know what's funny? I mean, no, I, do you know how funny that is? Bro, bro. Rubbish, you're not doing bro. it. Bro. So, because even as well, I was at, um, <laughs> imagine if I was first giving service before I left to go, yeah. innit? And I remember just as I was going, I, t- I saw our bumps as a Sunday. He was, I told him I was going. And he was like, Robert, you not told him before? I was like, nah, he was like, oh, damn, good luck. I said, I, I was like, gee, <laughs> thanks, bro. Especially that you with it as well. I was like, gee, thanks, bro. So I've gone there, but I was just like, you know what? Yeah, it'll be calm. Yeah. It should be calm. Like, like there's no problem in it. Mm-hmm. Nothing like that. So then, yeah, like, I came here and was just like, oh, it's very funny because I think the first time I met, it was one minute. Obviously, I did like the food, the baller, and that. Yeah. She wasn't looking to me like, damn, nigga, what you doing? Get up. <laughs> she, no, she didn't say like that, but she's like, what are you doing? Kind of thing. Obviously, so then, obviously, before I came, every best she was like, oh, you don't, you ain't got the baller like that. You know, my mom's not, so, my mom's not that. That's when you're madness. Deep it. Deep it. He's not supposed to be deep it. 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 She texts me like, oh, like you ain't got to do the whole thing. Yeah. Basically. My mom's not okay. that traditional. But the, but like, the thing yeah. is, at least, yeah. at least you gave your man on. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. At least you've done it the first time. Because yeah. yeah. it's, it's the first time respect, you didn't do it. Because you, you would have And known. she actually yeah. wanted you to do it. Then yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like that's that. funny, though. You're about boy with home training. At the end of the day, you're not going to say, your boyfriend was too respectful. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? It's better for me to do the whole thing. Honestly, it is. And then she like, then she said, you you haven't got to do that. So I'm like, oh, come. Now we've got the pattern. So mm-hmm. obviously, I came and we was just like, oh, hello, auntie. And she's like, yeah, we'll say you wanted to talk to me. Kind of. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. I was just like, oh, so, you know, the small talk, how you doing? How you doing mm-hmm. today? Yada, yada, yada. And then obviously, I just told her, like, you know, oh, I want to marry your daughter. Like that. And it was it was calm. Like, she was just like, yeah, yeah like, it's, it's fine. Like, you guys, basically, y'all go get married. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, were you pronouncing your T's? Like, was it like, I want to marry your daughter? Like, were you talking, like, in Queen's English? Uh, I, I found so. I found I was I was very yeah. yeah. heard the way I was speaking. Yeah. <laughs> was, yeah, I think so. And then um, so she was just like, yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah. So then obviously we were just like, all right, cool. In terms of like our parents meeting, mm-hmm. and she was just like, you know, she'll let everyone know, yeah, and yeah. let me know a day, and then we can get that get that patent. Yeah. And then yeah, me and him were just like, all right, bye. bye. <laughs> all right, so then we so yeah. we left. We went out. 
So, um, yeah. When parents so. meet, it's so funny. Like, yeah. But it's also a beautiful thing as well. No, so yeah. you're going to enjoy it. Because when yeah. my parents met, no one's parents, we just looked at each other like, this is really half it. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they got along so well. Like, yeah. our dads got along so beautifully. So I'm like, wow. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah, you would enjoy it. Bro. Yeah, yeah, even I was real, like, I think they first met at, you were there. Gradu- my graduation. Our graduation. Oh, oh so was Yeah, that was the first ever time they all met. Like, properly met. And yeah, no, as I just said in previous episodes, like, Families coming together is always a beautiful, beautiful, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Mm. I see. Then the wedding planning comes, and it might be ah. different sometimes. <laughs> God, God willing, everything goes well mm. for both of you as well. Anyway, Amen. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I lie. When now that you men are, you know, engaged, it's, it's nice to see. Still, you look, you look responsible, man. Yeah, that man, now. Nah. Yeah, that man. <laughs> and there's another level to go, man. Mm. And I honestly, I, I've always, as I've been saying, yeah, I always wanted to be at someone's wedding. That's my, like, that's my people, them. Mm. So I know that when I'm on stage and I'm jumping up and down, I'm mm. not doing mm-hmm. too much. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm Don't worry, I got, I got a money gun for you both, bro. You oh, just got to you you, supply the money. No, you just got to okay. <laughs> Bring your dollars. In, in terms of weddings, yeah, I um, wanted to ask you guys, is there mm. one thing, for the sake of time, is there one thing that you're looking forward to in marrying your, your fiance? So... When you say in marrying, you're talking about the wedding itself? Just when you get married. Or just like, get married. What are you looking for in, in You know marriage? what? I think I'm just looking forward to being able to do life with my with my, with my girl, innit? Like, yeah. I think it's just... Because I think there's been times where I'm just like... Like, I remember... You remember when you first got married and there's times me, we'd... Like, you and the wife and me and them, we'd, we'd be like... I think we were at Ken's one time. Yeah. And then we were going home, but we must have chilled late that night. Yeah, yeah. So then we were going home. I was like, damn, you just go home for the one location. I said, <laughs> yeah. I gotta do this. I gotta do this trip. And yeah, I, I yeah. always joke about saying to her, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I can't wait until we're just going home one location. Yeah. And it's even funny because recently there was like a post and it was talking about how some guy was basically like, oh, you know, the woman was basically saying, after they got back from their honeymoon, my husband was driving to drop me home at my parents' house because he'd forgotten that we, we obviously now we're going to be living yeah, together, innit? Funny. And I must have said it to her. She's like, oh, you, you ain't going to do that. And I said, you know damn right I ain't. I've been getting waiting for a long time. <laughs> yeah, so no, I'm just looking forward to, to doing life with, with my best friend, like mm. building. And you're just going through the journeys of life, man. Like, mm. Is anything yeah. you're not looking forward to? Um, oh, I'm ready to take all of it as it comes, innit? The highs and the lows and everything. Like, really? The main thing is, I think, Commitment. I'm committed mm. to my woman, so mm. like we we'll work for everything, innit? Like, Real I heard that. What about sunshine, you, rain, everything. What, what am I looking, looking forward yeah, to? Yeah, what are you looking forward to most in marriage? No, no. You see, you saucy boy. Uh, <laughs> no, but I have it though. Well, no, we should never talk it, about that. Well, I have it, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, so. it's, it's a factor. It's not what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, though, right? it's, it's definitely, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to, but. I was here. I would say, you know what? Division of labor, man, bro. Mm. I live on my own. Mm. It's just long, bro. Mm. Like doing everything yourself is just long. I'm like, mm. deeper, you don't cook, you die. <laughs> no, no, that. no, you, don't have, you don't have, you don't do shopping. There's no food in the yeah, fridge. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you don't clean, it's dirty. Like, mm. bro. Mm. So just to be able to divide things, to do things for the, a common goal. You know, what I mean, if I have to mm-hmm. double, if she's not feeling up to it today, and I need to double down, I've got us both. If I'm mm. down, you know, what I mean, two, two stronger are just, mm. yeah. just better than one. So I think that yeah, just being able to split the load. Um, mm. between two people will be sick. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that. Is there anything you're not looking forward to? Yeah, What's bro, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit selfish with my time, you know. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to be mm. more selfless with my time, but, mm. like, my me time is very precious to me. You know? mm. Um, yeah, So I'm not... changed that, Exactly. Yeah. Because once you live with someone, I assume that me time... It's me time. Diminished. It's me. Yeah, I mean, it's me time. We made it's me time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, my me time will be different. <laughs> Yeah, and then yeah. and, and martial arts like that would be my me time. Mm-hmm. Apart mm-hmm. from that, I won't really have much me time at the crib. Which, mm-hmm. which you know, what I mean, the the we time might actually be better than the me time. You know, yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll see, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But as of right now, mm-hmm. like from the mo- from the transition, I'm gonna try and mm-hmm. enjoy my me time as much as I can mm-hmm. before before it mm-hmm. before it diminishes. But I will say that's one thing. I won't say I'm not looking through. So that's one thing I'm not worried about. But I've got mm-hmm. it on my mind that yeah. when you get married. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna have as much time like by yourself, mm. so you need to grow out of this total. Yeah, like, I don't know what I am. I always call it total, like this one that you like to be in your show. Like, mm. I need to kind of grow out of. That, yeah, there's a there's a lot of things that you end up thinking about and learning about anyway, regardless. So yeah. it's a it's only been a year in anyway. Both of us, like, 
there's a lot we've already learned and there's a lot that we're still learning. Mm. And I think as well, when you're learning it, you kind of deep it. It's for the better. Like, it's for you doing better for yourself, mm. right? So, mm. do, you yeah, guys, I don't do you guys know. have couples you, like, can, that have been in the game longer than you? That can, that can, that you have questions, that you maybe can take questions to or... I don't know. I don't think I do really, but I'm. I want to have one at at some point. Yeah. So I was gonna say out of the man, them you guys kind of went first. Yeah. Uh, so like yeah. you're gonna be ours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, wonder, like you yeah. 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 Like, yeah. It'd, be, it'd be good to have someone a bit um older, and I think I, as we do even do this pod and have people on, so like people like Game Changer, he's. What was he, six, seven years? Six, six, seven, seven, six, seven years. years. So well, that's even we, someone that we can talk to at any point. Joey's a few couple years. Yeah, Jude's a, f- three, a few, three, three, three years. years. Yeah. So as so that's even, that's slightly a bit kind of community, really. Mm. So we've got them as well. And then even us, we've got us as well. So like, mm. we're, and you man are going to end up joining that group anyway. Because, mm. you know, when you man get married and then we're like, ah, we need to have a meeting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I said to Ken one time, I was like, I was like, bro, Invite us around, bro. We need to have a little quick meeting about mm. about about marriage, innit? Yeah. And when we did, it was like both of us had we all had things to get off mm. our chest, but we could only do that together mm. because it was like the girls would say one thing and they'd have someone to back them up, and we'd say one thing mm. and they'd have we'd back each other up. So it's, it is a beautiful thing, but yeah, mm. and even her parents as well. So with Nelson's parents, like we, I talked to her dad, didn't it? So sometimes I report Nosa to her dad and he, <laughs> and he talks about her mom to me. So it's quite funny still. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think in marriage, you're going to definitely get through that bond with your, your in-laws. I feel like that's cool. Because obviously yeah. they've been married. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, because yeah, Nosa's... Her family's Nosa's, cool, man. They are. They are. Nosa's parents have been married 20 years wow. next month. So I'm like, we have people that have been married for even my parents like, yeah. all these years. So... Yes, we should definitely like lean on our parents as well. Because mm. I know sometimes we're like our other people outside that have been mad for long, but we actually have people in our families and stuff. I've been Obviously, through. I know some people are not the best case studies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're not the best case studies, yeah. but it's still like you've been together for 20 years. Like her parents. Are, the death are gonna have they're, gems well, they're yeah. not, yeah. They might not be the best case studies, but they've still got actual, still got yeah, they've still got experience. a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. talk about so you can that's, take stuff that they've done that they, that's not good and follow yeah. yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Pretty much, I hear that. But for the um, for the time, time wise, yeah, let's go. Let's go do quick, quick, a couple quick fire questions. So we'll do, so we'll do three, three each. Five, 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 five each. Five five each. How quick have I got an answer? No thinking. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. like that. Still. Okay. Uh, if you pick a number between one and forty-one. One. Oh God, this guy. Favorite food. My favorite food. Yeah, yeah. Anything plantain. Maybe oh, fish, plant, fish and plantain, <laughs> rice and plantain, yam and plantain, egg and plantain. Ah, cool. AK, what about you? Yeah. Kind of like I said, but I feel like I say Gizbo then. Like, uh, no, no, I... no, no. Pick your own number. Oh, my own number. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, oh, yeah. All right, yeah, cool. Kim Marshy. So, number what? Between one, one of us. So, skip one, basically. Remove one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, if you don't answer one, yeah. Yeah, let's say 21. 21. When I feel like a lot of guests have said that number. Yeah, I swear. I know, yeah, a few people have no, said no, that number. No, it's, it's, no, it's a good one. What would you be doing if money wasn't an issue? I know this guy would be a pastor. Oh, <laughs> stop <laughs> it. No, I'm playing, stop I'm it. Um, yeah, what would you be doing if money wasn't an issue? Um, if money wasn't an issue, gosh, yeah, I would probably be doing something like just trying to edify, just trying to edify people in the world. Um, no, you see, he in, some, in, some, in some way or form, yeah. I think I would definitely want to do something along the lines of philanthropy as well, like mm. helping out like, the poor, orphans, widows. Mm. Uh, like, yeah, definitely. I think more as well, like, like behind the scenes. Like, I think I've just been like my mindset with money and everything like that, and even just like personal like wealth and it's changed a little bit. So, mm. yeah, something I would want to do. Hopefully, get to the point. And I've had conversations with Evan as well about what are we going to be doing with our resources, like, mm. heading, like working towards the point where we can more of our resources than just ourselves. So yeah, that's something I would probably like to do at some point in time. Yeah. Number? 37. 37. Uh, would you fast forward 15 years or go back 15 years? Go back. Go back. 100%. Wait, why would you go back? Time is too precious. I'm not skipping 15 years of my life. If I have to do one, I'll go back. Yeah. There's not enough yeah, time yeah, yeah, no. to, to miss 15 years. We got 15 we'll years. I'll, no. Yeah, the 15 years is a <laughs> Imagine like you go 50 years, you have three kids. Bro, bro. They don't yeah. even know their names. <laughs> bro. Yeah, Our firstborn will be like 16. Yeah, yeah. No, ah. still. No, yeah, I'll go back. 
What about you? Would you go? Would you guys? I think I'll go back as long as certain things like major things my life don't change in it. I don't yeah. like. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to go back. And now basically, I don't know what my, my, my feel. You can go through and make all the same mistakes. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't change nothing. Ah, no. excuse, excuse. So what about you? I can pick a number, bro. Um, let's see. You're thinking about this way too much, bro. Yeah, honestly. It's a thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay. <laughs> what event? Would you go back and change in history? <laughs> I mean, he wear the team, man. <laughs> uh, Would that be one though? Yeah. Mm. Kobe. <sighs> my guy. Oh, yeah. My guy. Um, <laughs> Don't get on that chopper. <laughs> As a Kobe, please. <laughs> Don't go. Um, <laughs> to be fair, yeah, that would be one. But I would say, if I think maybe about one that like, personally. Uh, this one of you two. Um, if I could change, uh, I don't know. I can't really expand on the thing, innit? Yeah, yeah. So I can't really talk about it. But it's an event, I, though. Like it's, an event. It doesn't have to be personal. It could just be personal. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'll just say this, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. I stopped, I stopped Kobe from um, yeah, getting on that path still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, bro? Uh, five. Five. Um, what has been your favorite age so far? Favorite age? Yeah. Definitely this one. Why? You why? 27. Why? This year, obviously, I got engaged. Um, I've had the enge- my engagement, I think, has been the most important day of my life so far. And I think mm. yeah, that is. day, all you man showing out for me. Although I knew you man loved me. Yeah. I think I said this before. It's so yeah. weird seeing people show up for you on the most important day of your life. It was even on a Monday night. Like it was a strange day. People pulled up, and I think that's like I, I had a new understanding of how much I'm loved as mm. well. So I feel like this year I deeped that my people are my people. Yeah. Um, I just had the best holiday of my life. Yeah. <laughs> um, like yeah. so far, I just saw another friend get married. There's been a lot of good news this year around me. Um, new mm. jobs, mm. engagements, mm. babies. Yeah. You know. What yeah. I mean? this I year's like, been lit. Still. No, I hear you. I hear you. This year's been lit. You know. Like the has been. Oh, don't get me wrong. Ups and downs, but. Yeah, yeah, this has been the greatest year of my life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, nah, shout what out, about shout you guys? What's been your favorite years? That's a good question. Um, yeah. you know, when we asked before about this question before we started the pod, I think I said back it was during uni, innit? it? But I think now it's changed. Um, it probably it uh, it would either be the year I got married. So I mean, I still sometimes forget. Is it when I was twenty six or I think I was twenty six? Ah, you're twenty five, and you turned twenty six later that year. That's it. Okay, yeah. So I was twenty five. Um. So that's one one of my favorite years. And then I think the other one would be this like this year mm. of being what ah twenty six slash twenty seven. You have two obviously back Malachi. To back years, bro. Yeah, no. Mm. It's basically the past two back to back years. Like, there's been big things that have changed in it. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah, moving out with my wife. Um, you know, having a baby as well. Mm. Yeah, no, nah, big years, man. Big years. Mm. How about you? I mean, I've had some good times, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some good times. We've been around, man. <laughs> no, but I think my my best year is probably my 27th year. Mm. And that's because I felt like life just started making sense. Yeah. Mm. That made sense. No, like, things you. were mm. going on the up. Obviously, mm. God forbid any bad, bad evil spirits out there when listening to this. Yeah, mm. back to sender. <laughs> but... Yeah, I feel like this last year, things have been making sense for me. I feel like I'm actually starting to get the hang of marriage, mm-hmm. get the hang of fatherhood, mm-hmm. my I love career. That you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, 27 was a sick year. I pray you're 28, so you a better one. Amen. Yeah. What yeah. about you, bro? Yeah, no, it sounds repetitive now, but I think this year's been a really good year. And I think as well, maybe a little bit of last year as well, just like towards the end of the year, just like good news. Like, obviously, the job I'm working in now, like, mm. it was a great opportunity that I got mm. that towards the end of that year. And mm. I definitely didn't see it coming. And I think between last year and now, so maybe a bit of an overlap, but I guess, um, yeah, 26 to 27 in terms of age, uh, yeah, I've just really seen, like, God's faithfulness. And it's just a reminder that as well, like, in spite of the ills, there's actually mm. so much to be grateful for. Yeah. So I think I just had a, a bit more of a disposition of that gratitude. So, yeah. Yeah. These last two and years. you know, it's funny, it's, you know, when we were young, obviously, we thought 20s would be, like, crazy good years. <clears throat> and people are like, oh, no, 30s are the new 20s. Mm-hmm. I actually now agree with it because I'm like, 30s, you, you, you've obviously matured a lot more. You end up earning more money as well. Mm-hmm. You've already got your family stuff set up as well. Mm-hmm. So it's just, like, leveling up, leveling up, leveling it's up. Like so we're just building foundations. Now, yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. now's the foundation. Now we're going to enjoy it. No, honestly, no. I actually can't, I can't wait. wait. It'll be, you know, it'll be you, good. You know what I, I listened to recently? I, I hope this ain't fake news that I'm spreading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... 
I hear as That's you fake get, news. As you get older, <laughs> as you get older, um, the dopamine hits you get from stimulus, stimuli, mm. like the juice. Mm-hmm. So like, that's why when you're younger and, you know, maybe being a class clown, like you making a joke and everyone laughing, that hits yeah, you yeah, to yeah. the brain. That's yeah. why you want to keep doing it. But as you get older, you care less. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's, I think that's why they say your 30s are sweet because one, you're more financially free. You know who your friends are. Also, you read like the dopamine hits you get from being popular or mm, people yeah. caring about what other people think about you reduces significantly. Mm. So that's when you actually just start doing what you want to do. And I think that's when life starts to make more sense. Mm. Yeah. When you start living okay. life for you oh, and for God. Yeah, uh, for I people. think we've got like one more question. We'll do one more question each and then we'll wrap yeah. it up. Um, yeah, Tim, pick one more question. 30. 30. What motivates you the most? Wow. What motivates me so much? Sorry, give me a I, was, second. I, w- I wanted him to get like a proper question. <laughs> when he said favorite food, I was like, ah, this guy. What motivates me the most? You know what? It's 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 like a mix between it's it's kind of the same thing, but it's it's being being a being a good it's almost like being a good example. Like I think about my future family a lot. Mm-hmm. Um like my future kids by God's grace, my future mm-hmm. wife my grandkids mm. and just being a person that they can all one aspire to be like be mm. proud of um and just know that i i'm not leading anyone down a bad path like being being someone that's responsible like being a man is is like crazy responsibility i've been mm. thinking about it so much before mm. i like the, on the lead up to being engaged and like no one's gonna give you a, always gonna give you a pat on the back for it and stuff like that. But you've got to be patting, man. Yeah. Like you've got you, you're gonna have influence, bro. There's like you've got kids that are literally their their outcome is gonna be affected crazily on the, the moves I make. You know, I mean, I've got younger, I've got a younger sibling. I've got younger siblings. If I'm being honest, they're yeah. not actually my blood, but yeah. you know what I mean. That, yeah. that look up to me in a certain sense, isn't it? So the way I move is important. Then I've got a wife who I'm supposed to be leading. You know, or I'm going to have a wife that I'm gonna be leading by God's grace. Mm-hmm. So I think just being. A man of integrity, a man that's patterned, a man that's not a, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I'm a hustler by nature, so I think yeah. that would be fine. But you know, what I mean, I need to be someone that that's hard work, and I hope that fire don't dwindle. You know, some mm. people say when they get married they change, or like some mm. women say like, oh, he was like this, and then when he got married he changed. Bro, I think too much. about, that. <clears throat> bro, I think about that. You know, I'm like, bro, like those guys didn't think they were gonna change. Yeah, yeah. like I gotta make sure yeah. I stay, I stay patterned. Yeah, I, I, I agree, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Back him, pick a number, bro. Fourteen. Fourteen. Who's one of your role models and why? Fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, Good one. Yeah. Um. Damn. That's a deep question because I haven't really thought about role models too much recently. Actually, I think I've gone through a period of life where maybe there's people who may have been role models that it's kind of been like perspective changed. But um, you know what? I will say like. You know, I've got some men in my family or men that aren't actually in my family as well, but just who are just like, I don't know how to describe it, right? But every, when people hear role models, and they think about, you know, celebrities mm. and these people who are larger, larger than life personalities. But I think more and more recently, I've just had a bigger respect for like the men who just show up consistently. They're there for their wives. They're there for their family. They, they reach out. Yada yada yada, like they, they're just consistent. They might not be famous, they might not be uber rich, but they're like when they go, they're gonna be spoken of like proper well. Mm. Like even like I'll say, like, you know, Uncle Richard. Yeah. When Uncle Richard passed, just made me deep. Like, what are people gonna say about you when you go? Like, mm-hmm. like, mm. what do you have? Like, once the money and everything's gone, like, and it's just like, do you have integrity? And are you somebody that, you know, people go, Yeah, they're, they're gonna show up. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like. Just shout out to yeah, all, all the men who just yeah, they just show up. Mm. And they take they're responsible and they're committed to their family and their loved ones. So yeah, th- those would be an um, amalgamation of all of those men. Yeah, no, those I have yeah, so cool. Yeah, that's calm, man. Anything else yeah, before you wrap up? No, I just want to say thank you, guys, for coming. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this no, thank you. Yeah, no, man, this it has been fun. Still, it has. Yeah. It has. Yeah. You guys have got a lit thing here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. Don't tell guys. my wife. Don't tell my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Obviously, and I pray this next chapter for you guys goes amazing. Amen. Amen. We'll give you guys a beautiful marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we'll Amen. be there for you every step of the way. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you. Nice. But yeah, man. Come with uh, money. Huh? Of course, bro. Oh, we don't. Don't worry. We'll be there. Uh, 
Stag do? This is, this is on this is on Spotify. We, we got this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, I said Stag do. We we'll come back. We we'll come in the comments. I said, not a man of his word. Stag do. We drag you. I'm out. I'm out. We spread peace at the don't chat, bro. But, but yeah. no, thank you guys for coming because obviously this is this is new to you guys. You guys have just stepped in, but you guys have come on to, yeah, speak to us about it. So yeah. I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you, bro. No, yeah, thank, thank you guys. Man. And obviously, uh, just before I wrap up, um, obviously it's my lovely wife's birthday on Tuesday. On the 19th, so happy just birthday. Happy birthday, birthday, happy birthday, man. And shout birthday, out you, man. Real MVP. I hope you got a good day planned for her, though. Shout <laughs> you out. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we're going to have a wonderful day as well, Yeah, man. we'll catch yeah, up next week. We'll catch up next week. But yeah, man. Love you lots and lots and lots, man. And thank you for being here. You are motivating me as well. Um, But yeah, Don't Tell My Wife, episode 20. With Timmy and AK. And cool. yeah, man, thank you guys for joining. Appreciate like, it, share, man. subscribe, all of that. We all just of touched, that. You just touched 114 Subs. subscribers. Oh, man. So Dope. yeah, man, let's We're keep doing up. Growing. Thank you guys. And mm. yeah, man, just keep engaging. And soon we'll be seeing more and more guests. Well, man. But yeah, man, thank Appreciate you guys. Appreciate the love and support. We out. Peace out. Wow.